Hey guys, how are you? So a quick, uh, a quick vlog. We'll see how people respond to it. I get so many questions. You have no idea how many questions I get. I get so many questions through email, DMs, whatever. It's hardly possible for me to answer a small fraction of them, but I try. I try. If I tried answering even 10% of them, I would have to uh, sell Studio Web and um, not to date anymore and I would have to order all my food in because I wouldn't have time to cook or anything. It's difficult. I try though, I try. Mm. Gotta come up with some sort of solution to try to answer more questions. Anyway, here's a question. What's better to learn right here? What's better to learn to code in for video games? Side scrollers, art like gifts for sure animation, music, music, C sharp, Java, C sharp, Python. PHP HTML5, uh, here's my answer. Um, what do you want the game, where do you want the game to run? That plays a big role. On iPhones, it would be Swift. If on Android, it would be Java Kotlin. On Windows, I would say C Sharp Unity, but there are many options that are viable depending on your game. So, Game programming is fun, but game programming is extremely competitive. So if you're looking to game program because you just like the idea of game programming, you want to learn to cope with gaming, that's fine. But understand that the game market is extremely competitive, extremely competitive. So it's difficult to make money with games, difficult, very difficult to make money with app, uh, building an app and deploying on the app store or the game store for Android. It's just the nature of the game. I think there's something like 12,000 new apps every month. So not only you got to compete with 12,000 other apps on the, uh, whether it be iPhone or uh, Android, you have to uh, compete with all the other ones that are on there. So it's very difficult. So there's nothing wrong with learning how to code or coding, develop a game for your, for your own fun. But understand it's a highly risky proposition in terms of uh, making a living with that. Although uh, I'm sure there's lots of high paying jobs in game development. You just gotta have to look at what the requirements are. I think that if you want to get a job at EA or uh, Ubisoft or something, you're probably gonna need some comp sci degree, a computer engineering degree to get a job at these huge firms as a developer. That's my guess. Uh, if your goal, on the other hand, is to learn how to code and then be able to become a freelancer or maybe get a job without having to get a degree and go into debt, then you're much better off learning the web stack. There's no question about that. I've talked about that uh, in other videos where the prevailing uh, forces, if you will, in the market out there is making websites even more important, not that they weren't important to two years ago or last year or six months ago, they're becoming even more important. People are realizing that social media uh, has to be secondary in terms of which, in terms of your tools of reaching out to clients. So I see a lot more small and medium and large businesses investing more in their websites, less in Facebook, less in Instagram, less in Twitter. And uh, so it just means more business for freelancers and web developers in general. So it depends on what you want to do. You know, side scroller games. You know, I, I'm. I think my my guess is that in terms of the business end, I'm putting on my business cap here. The money is probably going to be iOS development. So I would get into Swift. I would get into Swift. I'm not sure if a framework like a Flutter would be good for game development. You would have to look into that. If you don't know, Flutter is a framework that allows you to write code in one language. It's Dart and then deploy your, your application, your app into both Android and iOS without having to write two different code bases. That said, if I was going to be writing a game and I wanted to maybe charge for it, then I, as far as, as, far as I understand, I don't know if it's still the case, traditionally people are going to pay, more likely they're gonna pay on the uh, iOS for iPhones or iPads, then they're willing to pay on the Android platform. This is the question of the uh, the community. iPhone people are willing to pay for software much more so than Android people. I don't know if that's still the case. On the other hand, it's like Android controls like 80% of the market. iPhone controls uh, about 20%. 
So there's a much bigger market in Android world. So I don't know. You would have to look into those statistics. It depends what your end goal is. If you're just learning, whatever language you like, side scrollers and so forth, I would probably go for mobile development. That's where I'd see people playing those type of games. If you wanted a richer experience, then you might want to jump into the Unity platform. And uh, you could do that with C Sharp. You could do that with a JavaScript. Depends on what you want to do. If you're going... If you're learning how to code just for the sake of uh, getting a job, maybe starting a small business or something, I would just do the web as stack. That's the uh, that's where the money is. That's that's where the money is for sure. Or you could hedge your bets and learn the web stack and then learn a JavaScript. And uh, if you're game development, uh, you could do game development with JavaScript. You could do either in Unity engine or you could use HTML5 JavaScript to build games for the web browser. I don't know how many people use a web browser to play games, though. Uh, but at least you can learn the, um, the mechanics, if you will, of game development. Again, when I look at technologies, I'm always paying attention to uh, where the market is, right? That's important. All right. I hope this is useful. Once again, another vlog on a GoPro because I just didn't feel like using my cinema camera. All right. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye. One last thing, if you want to learn how to code, I have my interactive web developer full stack course. The main value of that course is the interactive component where you learn the core languages, HTML, HTML5, the CSS3, the JavaScript, SQL, PHP. And I also have my Python course, my freelancer course, my entrepreneur course. Uh, if you look below, the coupon is there. It's the Boxing Day coupon. I'm going to keep it going for uh, about a week or so. Just give people a chance to pick up the courses at a great price. And uh, there you have it. Enough of the shameless self-promotion. Bye-bye.